I think honestly we've been a bit lucky to have gotten away with a few games, um, but I think it's, it's ultimately a bit of experience that pulled us through. Um, we are aware that we haven't played our best cricket, um, but I'm hopeful and I'm sure things will will we'll turn things around and, and come back stronger. And obviously you will talk about that uh, ideal game or, or perfect game that we have at five matches. How does that look like it? I think our, our bowling has been decent. Um, it's not been easy to bowl on these wickets. Um, some of them are, have been a lot slower um, than what we used to. But I feel like if we can just get our, our batting to, to come to the party, it will really help a lot. I think I mentioned um, earlier that in the past year, year and a half, um, what has made this team so special is that for the first time in, in a very long time, the batting and bowling has been absolutely brilliant. So I think it's Obviously, Wolfie has been doing brilliantly um, last game. Sunaki supported her, but I think if, if a few more can pick up their hands, um, we'll, we'll most probably um, play our perfect game. Awesome. Now, obviously, speaking about Wolfie, um, just thoughts on her as a batter. You know, obviously, she's still young and she's come new to the Thoughts on her as a batter and also what you mentioned as well, the growing partnership between her and Sine that you will come to. Wolfie's always been one of those batters where as long as she's out in the middle you, you still come um, while sitting on the on the sidelines. Um, I mean for her age, um, I always said a few years ago I said she'll be one of the best in the world and she'll probably break a lot of um, records going forward. Um, yeah, she's just been a, a, a banker for us. Um, you know when she's out there um, she wants to score score runs every single game. Um, it's it's amazing to have someone like that in your lineup, and yes, her and Sunaki's partnerships have, have really been brilliant. Um, like I said, if we get one or two more to just pick up their hands, we will probably be scoring two eighty three hundred. Awesome. And you know, back to you now. You are obviously quite a consummate professional. Um, you you're at an age now where you know a lot about what you need and what you need to do. Um, and now as an all-rounder, can you just give us an insight of what goes into your preparation ahead of game day for you to be able to deliver with that level? It's hard, I'm not going to lie. Um, especially in the past, something that I've struggled with is I almost do too much um, days before matches and then by the time I have to play, I'm so tired. Um, it's, it's not always easy, I'm not going to lie. Um, I mean, you basically do um, the work of two people. Uh, but ultimately, while you're out there playing, it really helps a lot. If, if it didn't go too well with the batting, you can always make up with the, the bowling and, and vice versa. Um, so it's, yeah, I'm, I'm blessed to be able to, to do both skills. Um, it is a, a lot of hard work. Um, I've tried this World Cup to, to ease a bit on the, the training and um, keep it for game days. Through those moments, what goes through your mind and what helps you keep calm? I think at the end of the day, the preparation is really big for me. And ultimately, that's what gives me the confidence to go out there and, and play the way I do. Because um, I know I've done the work and over the past few years, I've just tried to really back my preparation. Um, but in saying that as well, I'm not going to lie, playing in all these leagues has, has really helped me a lot and has given me a lot of confidence because um, usually when you play there, you're playing with the best in the world as well. Um, and performing on, on the big stage, it, it, it gives you a lot of confidence. So I, I, I think it's a combination of things, but, but ultimately for me, it's, it's knowing I've done my preparation um, and I know I can go out there and just back my skills. Firstly, as, as a group, what do you guys sort of discuss beforehand in terms of how you complement each other and how important do you think that would be, particularly going into clutch games down the line? I think what makes us so special is that everyone is so different. I think I've mentioned um, earlier that I'm more uh, a swing bowler, I try and bowl line and length. Shibi is full on, just try and bowl as quick as, as possible. Um, and then Aya's in swing and Classy is a bit of in swing and, and a bit of pace. So I think that 
that is what what makes us special like i said that we complement each other because we are so different and the fact that we've played so many games i think um especially myself shibi and and aya um we've been bowling together for the past i don't know how many years I actually had to think about it yesterday that myself and shibi i think we've been opening the bowling for south africa for the past 10 years and um, I think we have over 300 ODI wickets. Um, so ultimately that really helps, you know each other. Um, if I struggle today, I know Shibi or I will, will pick up the hand and again, vice versa. I think it just shows in, in the play of the match performances that it's been Shibi, Aya, myself. So everyone has, has their day and as long as we, even if it's not going well for you on the day, as, as long as you just are at 70% of your best, it, it's, it's good for the team. I, th I think in over the past few months that's probably why I've, I've done so well to be honest I feel like that that gives you a, a different type of uh, confidence because um, a lot of times in the past I would doubt myself and just during the, the past few games <laughs> I've been praying almost every single ball while I was out there batting and um, like I said I, I think because I, I know Jesus Christ is with me it's, it's kind of like like you have nothing to lose like what can really what can really go wrong even if you if you lose the match it's it's, it's just the cricket game um and and he's still with you and you still have an amazing life and family and and all of that um now you spoke about it earlier your, your experience in, in, in the heat around the world obviously last year you had quite a memorable big bash um player of the match at the final i remember you said you didn't have the greatest performance about the tournament Obviously, what it meant to both you stood up for your team. How is that now? Obviously, looking ahead to Australia on Tuesday, how do you think that will help you? And obviously, the thing that you will talk about the team as well with the play that you know. How do you think that knowledge will help you know us to get over Australia? I think it's it's just going to take a team effort. Um, like I mentioned, the past few games, not all of us has probably been at our at our best. Where if you want a, a team, if you want to beat a team as successful and, and good as Australia, you have to be 11 people performing on the day. Um, so, but I back our players to come out stronger the next game. Um, if we can just have a few more people picking up their hands, I think we'll definitely be be able to to beat them. Um, and here yeah, again, with, with like I said, with playing these leagues, luckily there's a few of the girls that's been playing around the world, and I think I know it definitely gives me confidence. And I think the same for for some of the girls. I mean, we've got such different players in our in our team that that everyone has different skills. And I think ultimately on the day, if if you can have a few picking up their hands, um, it will help us get over the line. And just lastly, as as an experienced pro that you are. Three games left, but we've won four out of the seven. Most likely, we've won the victory out of these three to confirm uh, the top two semi final spot. How do you go about you know, addressing that? Obviously, you don't want to be too complacent or you don't want to put too much pressure on yourself for that one game. What would you be telling the team and, and you know, telling yourself as well? We need one more victory, but we also want to keep winning going into the semi final with momentum. How do you go about you know, preparing for, for that uh, phase? In the I think you can't think of that too much, to be honest. Um, because if you think we've already qualified, like you, you're making a big mistake. It's like you said, three more games, and it's it's three big teams. Um, so we are going to need good performances. Um, we don't want to find ourselves after the next three games being tied, um, having lost all three, and, and hoping to go through on net run rate. So I think it's a good opportunity for us to to secure that semi-final spot within the next few games and um, not leave it too late.